Okay. Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat. And Courtney. And we're back for more Let's Play Grandia on RezoWalkthroughs.com. We're in the ghost ship. Awesome. <laughs> and yes, I intentionally got got around that save spot because I don't need to save right now. Give <laughs> herbs. And the enemies you'll face here are fairly low level. Yeah. But they can hit kind of hard. Like all enemies. Pretty much. Ghostoids! These are annoying because they can evade your attacks by disappearing. Oh, I've had faced so many enemies like that. It's like, it's like whoever designed them just hates players. <laughs> As long as the ghostoid is attacking... Hey, see that? Yeah. He's around. And I only got one hit in on this. On yeah. It. No. No, you die now. And... These are fairly typical battles. Yeah. Alright, we won! Although... At least, if, yeah? At least they don't run away. No, they don't. I... I know there's enemies later that do run away, but they're rare. Yeah. And I ran into... <laughs> Pardon me. I ran into a battle um, in my practice file where I basically got waffle stomped by some trees. <laughs> Is that the common occurrence? Yeah. Well, they were ants. Oh, okay. That makes sense. There's weapons that you can use to um, ensure that you're not going to get raffle stomped by them. I didn't have it equipped. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty easy. I also didn't have the right spells on Justin, so... This time, we're going to avoid that. <laughs> Live and learn. Live and learn. Uh -huh. Although I will tell you that the boss fight that's coming up in this episode went a lot better on the practice file than it did here. Yeah, I I've had my fair share of boss fights for the day. Uh, uh, I, I, I was playing Kingdom Hearts earlier, and I remember why I hate Atlantica so much. <laughs> Who puts a boss fight underwater? Kingdom Hearts. Is evil. <laughs> Of course you enjoy evil. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, um, one thing I haven't mentioned since you're my co-host is that position counts in battle. If Justin is the first to hit something and the enemy is unaware of your presence, you get the Your Initiative screen where we get the first strike. Awesome. It's basically we ambush them. Yeah. If, yeah, most, most RPGs have that. Yeah. If Sue or Fina get hit by an enemy, it counts as an ambush. Even though you can clearly see it coming. Yeah. Not bad, eh? It's just that they actually touched your back rank, so it counts as an ambush for the fight scene. Yeah. yeah. Let's see... Justin... doesn't have anything to replace that with. Damn it! Hmm. I could re... No. I don't want to replace the metal bat with the hand darts. Fina's leather whip and knife are at the same level. Let's check their stat. Ah! The knife needs to go up. Okay, so over to weapon, swap her leather whip with the paring knife. And Sue, you're fine with what you got. Metal bat needs to go up. Justin, I need to get him an axe and a club. Badly. Yeah. Which we will do once we get to New Parn. And as you can see, Fina actually has a magic stat. Awesome. She's our spellcaster for now. Pretty much. 
in areas where you can basically grind using the save function. Yeah. It's best to grind up your magic and weapons that you need, and then yeah. go after the boss of the area. Yeah. Hello, Sea Jelly. Goodbye, Sea Jelly. I consider Jelly right up there with signs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw how we handle slimes earlier. Yeah. Waffle stomp. <laughs> slimes mean nothing. They mean nothing! <laughs> okay, how do we get... Oh, rope. To the ghost ship treasure room. There's a couple things you can see in here, and unfortunately we can't pick up the big treasure chest of gold. Where would you keep it? <laughs> in the same inventory space that we keep everything else? <laughs> oh, but a bag of coins sitting on the ground? Yeah, we can take care of that. <laughs> and that gets us the other bag of coins we couldn't get to before. Yeah, this is basically one giant puzzle room. Oh, joy. <laughs> I have nothing against puzzles, it's just... I hate going into them blind. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I keep a practice file. I need to start doing that. <laughs> well... I remember a lot of... what I what I had to do the first time through this game. Yeah. Oh. Look out, Justin! You're up. Oh. Justin, are you alright? Are you hurt? Incredible, that was so cool, Fanna. But Justin, that was so uncool. Oh, come on. He was just a little careless. Yeah, we were forgetting about the voiceovers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> well, they were—they had voice acting up until that point. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I think that's the last of the voice acting for a while too. Awesome. And over we go. Yay! Now we're through this area, and we've gotten all the gold and whatnot, which I didn't get last time. Just making sure. Oh, and I also fixed the controller issue, finally. So, yeah, I'm actually using the analog sticks instead of the D-pad now. Yeah, analog sticks are always better for 3D space. Yeah. Mm. Ghostoids are really easy to get the drop on. But also, they're really easy to ambush. To be yeah. ambushed by. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. He's already in his attack motion. He slowly slaps us. <laughs> For one whole damage. Yup. No. Oh, 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 you gotta be kidding me. Of course you. Can't get anything. Not bad, eh? Ah. 8 XP! Yeah, we're not getting high experience points until much later in the game. Yeah. I was wondering what the XP rate was. Very low. Yeah. And I think the max level is like, um, somewhere around 200. Yeah. Okay. Nope, can't open the treasure chest. That's higher than a lot of RPGs from that time. Yeah. They usually just let you go to 99. Yeah. I believe Star Ocean lets you go to 255. Yeah. Okay. We want the wind charm on Sue for now. If they give you a defensive item like that, there's a reason. Yeah, and whenever you get anything good in a dungeon, use it. Oh, yeah. Funnily enough, 
On my practice playthrough, I didn't equip the Wind Charm. And I did just fine in the boss battle. <laughs> I think I had a couple of close calls, but that was it. So it's, I'm assuming it's just a wind-based monster. What a yeah, it, it uses wind magic. Yeah. So... That's the funny thing, is that in my experience in Grandia, boss dungeons will always include something that'll help you. So, like Zelda? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unlike Final Fantasy and other RPGs where you'll have something that'll help you in the shops beforehand. Yeah, if you, if you get to a town and there's something new in the shop, you're going to need that something new. Yeah. Like, with... Like, there aren't many, there aren't really dungeons in 7, but once you, if you went to a town and there was a new weapon, get the new weapon. Yeah. And if you can't get the new weapon, go out and grind till you can afford the new weapon. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I hated grinding, but in Grandia, grinding's I'm one of, fun. I'm one of those weird people. I love grinding in video games. Well, Except I for Pokemon for some reason. I hate grinding because of the forced nature of it. And because it hit Justin, it's a uh, it's an us ambushing it instead of the other way around. But yeah, I guess the game's logic is that if it hit Justin, she would then I saw it coming. Yeah. Uh, huh. there we go. No, you do not get to attack. <laughs> Fina destroys your chance of attacking. <laughs> I figured Sue would be like a um, cleric class. Yeah. She kind of is. Yeah. Um, Usually the second person in your party is a cleric. Yeah, she's the only one that has a healing ability right off the bat. Yeah. She's a temporary cleric then. Yeah. If you... Oh, hey, we get to show off an ambush. Ghost toys. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Them hands. They just want to give us high fives. They're not very good at it. No. And it's not like damage here matters. Because we'll, re we'll hit a recovery point before we get to the boss. Yeah, and these, those ghost toys do such little damage. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, get that item, which is a wound cell. That will go to Pina. Because I kind of want to distribute the healing items throughout the party, just in case. Yeah. Pirate hat. Hey. Just for defense. Yeah, let's see. Who can use the pirate hats? Apparently Justin. Justin can use it. <laughs> Okay. Wow. She get the god. Well, yeah, it makes it. Well, she can use them. Um... Everyone else has better defense than Justin's goggles, so. Oh well. They're goggles. What the are goggles. They, do? they do nothing. They do nothing. <laughs> ADM sword. Admiral sword. Justin will equip the admiral sword since he is the only character able to do so. It's a bit rusty, but that's okay. These ghosts just move back and forth, so ambushing them is dirt simple. Yeah. Four ghostoids! I wonder if they'll get to slap us. I'm sure someone will disappear. <laughs> waka 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 waka. Oh, that defense thing is so annoying. Because it shows up as them doing a magic thing. Yeah. Wow! Three damage. So that was about... Oh god. Four damage. It was did... Oh, what the hell? He got, he got almost 20 damage down to him in that one. Yeah. 
Not that it matters, we have a heal spot nearby. Yeah. Justin, go kill. Hey, counters! Completely blocks attacks. <laughs> Alright, we won! Yay, we won. So do the save points in this game just, like, he auto all of them automatically heal you? You have to manually heal, but it's a case of you don't use up any healing items doing it. Oh. You just have to hit the point that says recover. Okay. So, Fina gets the Rezu Potion. So, I remember in Tales of Vesperia, there were only certain heal points. Uh-huh. Save points that, were, that would also heal you by touching them. Uh, in this game, you have the option to heal at save points. This may have been a slight mistake. It's, it kind of has the Final Fantasy X problem, where you can just run around the save point for hours and grind. <laughs> way. I think that was kind of intentional. But you broke the game so early. Well... Ow. One of the things... It's, at least I did. One of the things about this game is if there's no enemies on screen, there's no enemies. Yeah. Final Fantasy X, they had the um, random encounter thing going on. Yeah. This is scheduled encounters. Yeah. It has more in common with the Tail series. Yeah. Which I've never played. You should still play them. <laughs> they are so much fun. I bet. One thing you'll probably notice is that I avoid giving Sue any stat boosting or magic items. She's not going to be with us in a bit? I'll go ahead and spoil this part. She <laughs> leaves once we hit the end of the world. Yeah. It's either once we hit that area or a little past it. She'll leave the party and go home and she won't be part of the group for the rest of the story. However, we will see her at the very end. Yeah. So, Defense City... So, this is basically the Final Fantasy VII problem. Don't waste your time with Aerith. <laughs> Aerith. Well, with Aerith... Just, with Aerith, course. at least, there was a good reason to give her the stuff, because you got a bunch of it back at the end anyways. Yeah, but still. It's just the pain leveling her up. I never had her in my party. <gasps> oh, I did. Well, with the way the ma the way with the magic system was in that game, you um anyone could be any class basically yeah. for the most part. So I wasn't worried about oh I don't have a healer. Someone take this heal materia, which was awesome by the way. Yeah, that was a good thing. Uh oh. Careful, I have a bad feeling like a predator stalking its prey. Good, I timed it out right. But Fina, this is a ghost ship. How does it catch its prey? Justin, the prey is already here. Huh? Here? Do you mean us? Justin, look around carefully, or it could be fatal. It could be a fatal frame. Ouch. <laughs> that was kind of painful. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. The cosines aren't quite right. This must be a very ancient chart. Yup. It is. What an antique. This is from before the end of the world was found. And the world was thought to be round. That would be an interesting discovery. Yeah. Wow, a ship with a tiller is pretty unusual now. Yeah, really seems like a ghost ship. And there's one more thing to check. And then we'll be in the boss fight. If you can find it. <laughs> there it is. Hey, what's this? Looks like the ship's log. Maybe the log contains a clue to the mystery. Let's read it. I'll do the captain's voice. The ship was finally caught by the tentacles of the beast. No choice but to make a final stand. Unless we kill that accursed monster, our voyage has no tomorrow. 
It ends here. Monster? What could that mean? Shh, quiet. Something's here. Be careful. And cue the ad of. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Oh god. Be careful, it's the monster. Yes, it's a squid king. Yeah, I wasn't going to go there, but. I was! Yeah. I'm thinking Ubisoft is in a Japanese company. Oh, but they collaborated with a Japanese company. Close enough. And they are French. Yeah. Botanical. Fina, show us your magic. Now I'm just trying to think of all the games that have squid or, mo or bosses with tentacles. It's not a very large list. Amazingly. Yeah. Oh, flame burn him! Now, the thing about this boss fight, you want to concentrate your attacks on the main body. Yeah. Face left. But anytime one of the parts of the body start sparkling like that, you want to hit that hard. Yeah. Because otherwise it'll do this. How? Oh. Yeah. Ow. Take this! The body has some very devastating attacks that you want to keep it from doing. Yeah. If you can at all time it to cancel, you really want to do that. That's gotta be difficult, though. Face yeah. Back. Can be. Ah, oh, crud. Went after Fina. Okay. Ow. Yeah. And rah rah time. Leave the spellcasters alone. On, They've done nothing to you. <laughs> I finally got to show that off. That was adorable. <laughs> she does a little cheerleader routine. Shockwave, we want to stop Shockwave from happening. Oh, Shockwave sounds like a bad thing. It is. Here's a question though, why would something that lives in water have electric attacks? Um, electric eels have electric attacks in real oh. life. Oh yeah. Okay, did that s no it didn't. Well, um, items... nothing offensive. So we'll heal. Oh crap. Use up the herbs while I'm at it. Shockwave! Ow. Yeah. Heal Sue. Yeah, no. Sue's down for the count. And so is Justin. Holy crap. Call to you, Fena. Yeah, Fina actually manages to carry the party on this one. Justin. Didn't she like the highest level out of all of them? Uh, she's tied with Justin for level 6 right now. Because he actually got up to level six. Yeah. Shite. Laser eye beam with death. Yeah. Fortunately, it gets you out of the range of. Um... There's a red potion. Yeah, I'm going to use grenade first. <laughs> and Fina, you're uh -huh. gonna get. You're gonna hit the burn. That sucker's gonna use laser eye again. Boom. Take this. And another for good measure. Fortunately, he seems to be weak to fire attack, so. Ooh, burn flame! Awesome. Second tier spell. 
And there goes one arm, so it is now down by one attack. There we go. Vina! You can't laser eye beam deaf you? Well, we can, we just can't use one arm. Oh. Resurrection Potion. Oh. Sue's back on her feet. Laser eye. Dr. Octagonpus! No. Oh, canceled out her spell. Yep. Finna's hurting. That's okay. It makes Squid King hurt even more. Justin. Time to use a healing item. First aid kit. That'll work. Or a wound cell. First aid. <laughs> First aid does it for everybody. Yeah. Boom. A pretty fire. <laughs> and now it's down to just its main body attacks, which granted are pretty devastating, but... Oh, we get to show off Puffy Kick for the first time. <laughs> Yay! Does that exist that now not counted animal cruelty on some level? Hey, Puffy! Puffy's the one volunteering to do it. Fair point. Hey, Justin! Hit this sucker. Dina! Light him up. Burn him. Oh, you can't. can't do burn flame more than once a once a fight, oh, but hey, oh. devastating when it hits. Boom! Almost. Oh, Sue, your time to shine. Or yeah, <laughs> bit confused. There we go. Screw it, everyone, just. Kill it. Charge it. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, fine. Tina gets it. <laughs> Glory hog. That was pretty. Yay! 2,000 gold. That's gonna come in handy. Awesome. Money always comes in handy. Of course it does. Sue leveled up. Yay! Sue leveled up. So the men of this ship were all attacked by that monster. No doubt about it. It must have been. It must have attacked the ship and preyed on the people. Yikes! What was that? Oh no! The ship has begun to sink. Quick, Justin. Yeah, we've got to escape. We're doomed if we go, if we go down with it. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, recover, but don't save. I'll have an opportunity to save later. So it was locked from this side. Hmm, this lock. What's with this lock? It doesn't unlock. Let me try. There, it's unlocked. Let's go. Incredible. Then it can do anything. Whee! Go ship upper deck. <laughs> Oh no, what do we do? The ship's sinking. Don't worry, leave it to me. The first rate adventure knows how to get out before getting in. This kind of shows that Fina is way more experienced than Justin or so. Yeah. Come quick, climb this rope. Despite being roughly the same age as Justin. Oh well. Oh, the crane. Yep. That just clicked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's she grappling on to? The sky. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> it is a JRPG after all. I still don't understand how escape ropes work in Pokemon. And it looks like it's time for commercial break, so see you in a second. 
and welcome back, everyone. Hello. Hope you enjoyed that commercial break. It was well-timed. I'm so glad. Everyone is so worried. We're so glad you got back safely. Nothing to it. That ghost ship was easier than swabbing the decks. Hey, gotta hand it to you. Oh yeah, I have news. They're gonna let me work on the ship. In the engine room. They're right in the middle of repairing the engine. How about that? Good for you. The giant squid stopped the ship. It was quite a beast. I told you from the beginning, there's no such thing as ghosts. Right, Captain? Good job, Fina. Now we can make it to the new world. I can really depend on you. Oh, Captain, not just me. You guys to thank Justin and his friends, too. We defeated the ghost ship by the three of us working together. Of course, you're quite right. I didn't imagine they could accomplish what they did. To tell the truth, I didn't think so either. You're quite an adventurer. You get a perfect score on your first adventure. You look pretty good there, Justin. Uh, well, um, well, thanks. This is sort of embarrassing. This isn't like you, Justin, getting all red face like this. <laughs> Puffy, what are you saying? <laughs> And cue credits for episode one. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like the end of an anime did. episode, didn't it? Yeah, complete with really bad laugh track. I was waiting for a freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that shot with the steamer could have been next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Okay, so we can turn in right now, or we can go talk to people. Practice file I just turned in. Yeah. So... Nyrm. I was so worried about the ghost ship appeared, but it worked out well. Thanks to the sea spirits and you guys. See? What about us now? Hooray! We drove off the ghost ship. Fina, Sue, and me. Aren't I going to be a great adventurer? <laughs> Here we are, a great sailor and a great adventurer. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Damn it. <laughs> show off the ship that we didn't... Parts of the ship that we didn't show off before. You don't say. A giant squid caught the ship, you say. Even if he was a monster, how can I stand losing a tug of war with a squid? Got to retrofit the ship, I guess. Hmm, the pride of workmanship. Yeah, he's Scotty. Uh, so definitely honestly. Scotty. Justin, you saved my beloved engine, Jennifer, from the ghost ship. Thank you so much. I didn't do it just to save the engine, though. I just wanted an adventure. Don't forget my great nick, Daring Duke too. What? Yeah, it's an old phrase that means adventure. Oh. Uh, Anyways, you were saying? What was I saying? I don't know. Oh yeah, that squid didn't look nearly big enough to stop a ship. Apparently it was. <laughs> like it was fitting inside the captain's quarters. Yeah. Also, this is an anime. Spatial awareness, it, ha it has not. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Uh. Gotta make allowances for video game logic. Yeah. Okay. Now everyone wants Miss F wants Finna. Hmm. I don't think she's too particular about types, but definitely no mama's voice. Yeah. Hey Justin, I heard you drove off the ghost ship. You're a full fledged man of the sea. You got it wrong. I'm a full fledged adventurer. Now I see. Then Justin, tell me the rules of adventures. Open up new worlds. 
No, oh, no, that's a good scene. It was us sailors and adventurers who discovered the new world. <laughs> of course, you do get it, sir. <laughs> Mr. Justin, I heard you drove off the ghost ship. Is that true? Of course, it was a great adventure. That's just great. Can you tell me all about it? Okay. <laughs> adventure on the ghost ship makes a wonderful travel story. Can't that be a gift? Just leave it to me. Or so I'd like to say, but I got so involved I don't remember a thing. <laughs> Just like you, Justin. Hey there, apprentice. Heard you defeated the ghost ship. Great job. I'm only an apprentice sailor, but I'm already a full-fledged adventurer. <laughs> now I see. Guess there's almost nothing more I can teach you. Why? I noticed they're suddenly calling him Mr. Justin. Yeah. That's common on uh, sailing ships. Yeah, but he was just a kid before. Yeah, but now he's part of the crew. Hmm. He kind of earned his slot on the ship. <sighs> ah, an excellent job, Justin. Why don't you join the Garlisle forces? Come fight with me. I think I'll pass. Being put through the ringer by you sounds worse than a giant squid. Anyway, I'm going to be an adventurer. I'm not cut out to be a soldier. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, mostly just talk. Fluff, fluff text. <laughs> lots and lots of fluffy text. Oh my, since when did you become a sailor? You run out of money? Nah, Sue got found out as a stowaway. We were really in trouble. Apes! Stowaway! Apes? Sir, might you be a stowaway? Oh no, I've been found out! Please don't <laughs> tell anyone, okay? Please? Please keep this a secret. It'll make me walk the plank and splash into shark-infested waters. Don't worry. There's, they're not so barbaric as to make you shark food. Now they, now they throw you overboard in a barrel. No, please, not the barrel! Please don't tell anyone! Hey, this cabin sure is nice. It's lively and the doctor's here. Not too many lice and ticks. Don't forget to mention the great adventurers Justin and Fina, and even Sue and Puffy. <laughs> great adventurer Puffy. I'll make it back to New Parm. Fina saved us. She's the greatest adventurer in New Parm. Hey, hey, you're forgetting Justin, the greatest adventurer of Parm. No fair, sir. Of course they're the greatest. After all, Justin and me, you and me are the only adventurers in Parm. <laughs> Even among only two, greatest is still good. Good luck in the new world. Uh, okay. No, not quite true, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think, I think we're, we're done. We're, we're done with this area now. Yeah. No one has anything interesting to say. And the guy in the corner just counts rats poorly. Mm. How can you count rats on a ship? You'd have to keep an eye on all of them and know which ones you've counted already. Yeah, that's why I say he counts them poorly. Because he keeps counting the same rat over and over and over. <laughs> it's just one rat. Is that so? You defeated the ghost ship. Thank you. So you're the ones who drove off the ghost ship? Thank you, but it's still ironic that my life was saved when I lost my son. Okay. More British. <laughs> All the British. Perhaps you drove off the ghost ship. The latest steam was incredible. What? They even have porters who could work as adventurers. I'm just disguised as a porter. My true identity is... Da -da -da. Great Adventure Justin. Great Adventure Justin. Fabulous. I shall spread word of your daring deal in the palm social circles. <laughs> Justin, you're being irresponsible again. You must be Justin, the one who drove out the ghost ship. Thank you for saving the pilots. <laughs> the least I could do as an adventurer. Hmm, your adventurers do seem to be quite skilled. I'm impressed. <laughs> well, that's a fine job. How about looking for me as my personal bodyguard? <laughs> hmm, I'm sure I could do it, but I'm no good at standing in one place. Ah. 
Watch Justin's your... personality is going to get on my nerves. I can feel it. <laughs> he gets more mature <laughs> as it goes along. He's still fairly immature right now. Yeah. Aw, <laughs> oh, poor kid. <laughs> See now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Aww. Thanks to you, the steamer is now able to move. Let me thank you. Why don't you join me on my gourmet tour? Hmm, that's a tough choice, but you know, I'd rather pick the adventure tour. <sighs> uh, I think we're done here. <laughs> the word adventure and adventure is starting to lose meaning. I've heard it so much. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you only hear it <laughs> five billion more times. Because he's like Titus, who never shuts up about his daddy issues. Actually, he does shut up about this eventually. He grows as a person as, as the game progresses. Oh, so he's nothing like Titus then. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he only starts off immature. I'm okay with that. But then again, he's 14. Yeah. I mean, come on. Athena's, what, 16 and only slightly more mature than him? Yeah, but she doesn't spot adventure every five seconds. This is true. Justin and Sue, you two have done well. You worked hard as sailors, and you did well as adventurers, too. Keep it up in the new world. Yes, sir, Captain. I'll do my best. If you don't, you get the you might get the barrel. Justin, I was really bossing around on the ghost ship. Sorry about saying those things. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I thought maybe I could learn a few things. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you feel like that. Uh, oh. I'm not trying to flatter you, but just in suit, you show promise. You're going to be good adventurers. Really? <laughs> I thought so too myself. Me too. Watch it, Sue. If you hadn't stowed away, Justin might have been a passenger to the end. Yes, sir. But I did get some good experience because of it. See, it was good that I stowed away after all. And that's pretty much the end of the dialogue for that area. So we've seen all the dialogues that we're gonna stomach scene for now. <laughs> no more adventure of talk. Yeah. He starts shutting up about adventure this, adventure that in a while. Plot gets a bit more serious. Yay. Okay, time to go to sleep. I'm Bush, let's turn in. Yay, more swabbing the decks. We saved your ship, but we still get to swab the deck. Yep. What? Not swapping the decks again. We're the heroes who saved the ship. Of course you're heroes. You're still apprentice sailors, right? So get to sleep. No, I'm still with Sue on this one. <laughs> <laughs> there would be no deck to swap. <laughs> <laughs> I feel we've earned a day off, at least. Good morning, Justin. Let's go swap the deck. Okay. You're past these guys. Yay, passageway two. Not talking to anybody at all. They just have the same dialogue to say. Oh, wait. So, it's Justin and Sue. Come to swab the decks? Too bad, you're fired as sailors. You don't have to swab the decks. But fired? Why? But what for? We were working so hard. <laughs> what are those faces for? Just listen to me, okay? We've reached the new world, Valencia. The voyage is at its end. Huh? <laughs> Go look up on the bow. You can see the new world. Wait, the new world was only like five days away and no one discovered it? <laughs> well, five days by steamer ship going directly towards it. 
Yeah, but I'm just saying, no one sailed in this direction before. Apparently not. Justin, what's wrong? I can see it. There it is. Yay, there it is. Incredible. Say, Justin, with this much, sp with this much space, you can do a lot of adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Puffy, don't worry, there's plenty of delicious food there. Right, Justin? Say, are you listening, Justin? You hear, Justin? Oh, I heard you, Sue. The new world, we're really here! I can't wait to find out what's there for us, Justin. Title screen. Or not. That would have been a great place for it. It's a really long teaser section for a game. Good morning, Justin and Sue. Hi, Fanna. Ah, new prong. It's been a while. You two, this is your first time to the new world. Welcome to New Prague. To Alencia, the continent of dreams and hope, dreams and hopes. You two are very welcome. Continent of dreams and hopes. I know your dreams will come true, Justin. Hey, Justin, get ready to go ashore. Tell me when you're going ashore. I'll go with you. And that will be next episode, so this is Man in the Black Hat. And Courtney. See you next time for more Let's Play Grandia. Later.